Greetings everyone, Hotfix 31.1.7 went live on PC, and we have the following changes. DE added the ability to preview the Lunar Renewal theme and background, with a note that this was player feedback as the market bundles did not show the theme or background in full. You can go into your options, interface, customize UI theme, and then select the Lunar Renewal theme and background to preview them before purchasing. They've also set the maximum purchase quantity in the in-game market to 9,999,999. As for the optimizations with 31.1.7, DE made systemic micro-optimizations to load times and improve the frame rate while streaming on Xbox or PC when using DirectX 12. They've also continued to add diagnostics to try to isolate random DirectX 12 crashes. As for the game's overall fixes, DE fixed an issue where the innate damage bonus of Kuva weapons did not apply the bonus damage from Galvanized Amplitude. They fixed a Sister of Parvos candidate not showing what weapon is offered if the treasurer is also alive, text issues with pickups that originally from the capitalization changes, with the note that pickup notifications in the HUD will now be capitalized for things that do not have custom formatting applied. They fixed a mixed case of text issues in the end of mission progression box. They have fixed the spore ephemera appearing like grey mush, with the note that they've restored it to its original nastiness, which we all know and love, but also improved it. They fixed an issue where the epic store platinum bundles would no longer show coupons applied and did not apply discounts to purchases, with a note that this also fixes a related issue where the pricing was not accounted for the coupon discount and was charging the full price while also consuming the coupon. The coupon discount will now appear on hover and for those affected they tell you to create a ticket at support.warframe.com. To fix the sniper ammo mutation mod not mutating rifle ammo at the described rate, they fix the following issue with the protovia armor set, completing the protovia sentient killing challenge not awarding players with the evolved protovia chest piece. This was caused by exiting the railjack from the menu which would fail to deliver the protovia inbox message if the challenge was completed. For those affected, they will be running a script that will deliver the inbox message with the evolved protovia chess piece with a note that they will update the thread once it has started and the script has finished. They also fixed Requiem Relics dropped from Thralls or Hounds not counting towards the Protovia Sign Dana challenge progression. They fixed Sister of Parvos Hounds becoming a permanent ally and blocking progression if affected by abilities like Nyx's Mind Control or Revenants in Thrall. They fixed an amp appearing in town hubs on a post-New War character, clipping issues with the Nidus Cavale Scrounger helmet open and closed states. They fixed turrets not taking damage from bullets in Wormius. Wormius turrets projectiles firing from the wrong position. They fixed more icons appearing stretched after the great icon squarification treatment. They fixed incorrect lighting in some cases when shadow quality is set to low. They fixed the corrupted prefix appearing in all caps in corrupted enemies' names. They fixed possible map holes near power structures in the Corpus Gassity tile set. Some punctuation issues in the Lotus Transmission and Voxel. Solaris Quest, and the Vitric has sound effects building up when turning many enemies to glass at the same time. Anyway, that was Hotfix 31.1.7. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.